Rapid Pro lets anybody set up or modify a complex SMS application without the need of a programmer or expensive consulting company. At the core of this is Rapid Pro's Flow Builder, which lets you set up the interactions you have with your users. Flows are the base for Rapid Pro's other features messages, which track the information users send to you, contacts, which track who you communicate with, campaigns, which set up special interactions for selected dates, and triggers, which start flows based on user actions or schedules. We will focus in this demo on how to build a Rapid Pro flow. For this example, we are going to create a flow to register customers. In this case, we are registering customers who have already bought water filters. We are going to start things off by asking them where they get their water. Let's ask them to respond with either well, tap, or stream. This is our first outgoing message. Now, let's save their incoming response by saving the result as a variable named water source. It is a multiple choice variable because we gave the customers three options to respond with, well, tap, or stream. Since we know they're going to respond with either well, tap, or stream, we will create categories for each one of those. For example, if the response contains the word stream, we will categorize it as stream, and we will do this for all of our possible responses. Now in the flow, we can see each of the categories we just created. We can create our next message by just dragging one of these boxes. Now let's find out if they're boiling their water. This time, we expect them to answer with a yes or no. Let's drag tap, stream, and any other response into this new question since we want to save their response to this question as well. This time, we are going to save their response as a variable named boil, and we're going to say that they can either respond with yes or no. In this case, we are also going to let them reply with Y for yes and N for no. That way, it is just a bit easier for them. Now for the people that said yes, we want to let them know that boiling is the right thing to do. Then, we want to ask them the next question, which is, how many members do they have in their household? In this case, we are just expecting a number, one, to 20. Just as before, we are going to drag the box and save this response as a new variable. In this case, since the response should be numeric, we're going to save it as the household members variable with an acceptable range of 1 to 20. Now let's create a follow-up message for customers who respond no, they do not boil their water. In this case, we are going to tell them that they should consider boiling their water before they use the filters. Then, we're going to ask the same question we asked the customers who responded yes. How many members are in their household? Since we asked the same question to those who said yes, they boil their water, we can save their responses for those who said no, they do not boil their water, simply by dragging the red box to the household members variable we already saved. Now we need to deal with responses that are not a number 1 through 20. Let's create a quick reply asking the customers to try again. Let's remind them what the original question was too. On the flow page, we will connect responses to this message back up to the same household members variable we already created so that any response they have is handled the same way. Let's do the same thing for our yes or no question about boiling. Again, we're just going to tell the customer we did not understand what they replied with and remind them to reply with a yes or no. We connect the responses just as we did previously so that they are handled in the same way and now we're done with that part of the flow. Now we can finish things off by sending the customers a quick message thanking them for their time by their name. Those sort of little touches make a big difference towards making the system feel personalized. The final step in building a Rapid Pro flow is running the flow in the simulator to make sure it's working correctly. We can see here that our first message is working correctly. Let's go ahead and respond with stream. Notice on the flow page that we can track responses to our flow in real time. Here, we can see that the flow page is registering our simulator run by showing that there is one response for stream already and that it's currently waiting for us to respond about boiling. We're going to respond with sometimes. This shows up on the flow page as going through the other rule. Let's go ahead and answer with yes this time. Again, the flow moves forward and you can see now we are waiting for a response to the household members question. Let's go ahead and answer with four. Being able to see interactions with your flow, live as it happens, is one of the most powerful features of Rapid Pro, and it helps you refine your flows over time. So now we need to set up a trigger to enable people to start this flow. In this case, we're going to say that anybody who sends the word join via SMS is going to be added to the customers group and is going to start the flow we just built. 
So from the triggers page, we can see all the keywords that we have, including the one we just created. After we have gotten some registrations, we can go look at the data. So here we can see a breakdown from all of the different water sources that people have and the three different variables that we are collecting information for. Let's try looking at this data for only those who do not boil their water. To do this, we are going to uncheck yes, and we can see the breakdown by water source. There's a lot more to show on the analytics page, including how you can compare variables from different flows, but we will leave that for later. If we want to go back and see every message that comes in, we can go to our messages page. Here, we can label and search for unique messages. We can also click on any contact to see their full message history, including any missed calls from them. We can even send them a message right from this page. Here, we're just going to check how their filter is working. So that is a quick overview of Rapid Pro. There are a lot more features you can discover. So come try it out for free at rapidpro.io.